Hi, I'm Zoe, and in this video we're going to be looking at rounding to the nearest hundred. Now remember, when we're looking at rounding up or rounding down, we look to the place value column to the right of the one that we want to round to. So the first number we're going to look at is 236. We're going to label it first with our place values. So ones, tens, hundreds. As we're rounding to the nearest hundreds, we're going to look at the tens column to decide if we're rounding up or down. Looking at our aid memoir, we can see it's below four, so we're going to round down. Using our knowledge of multiples of 100, we can see that 236 is between 200 and 300. And we can see as we're rounding down, 236 to the nearest 100 will be 200. Also helpful to remind pupils, because we're rounding to the nearest 100, the tens and the ones columns will both be zeros. Pupils should then get a lot more chance to explore this and especially numbers like this, 4,956, which when we round, rounds to 5,000, and numbers like 9,713, because again, as that rounds, it rounds to the nearest thousands as well. Very important that pupils get the opportunity to do that. Also, extending this, going deeper into their knowledge, are questions like this. After it was rounded up to the nearest 100, a number was equal to 2,400. What was the original number? It's best that pupils explore this and be able to justify their answer. And that is how pupils can explore rounding to the nearest 100.